Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the oil change on the GR86. Um, finally ran out of the services that they provide at the dealer. Now it's my turn. I'm at 20k miles. Do it for the first time. So it's going to be my learning experience, your learning experience, if you haven't done it yet. Um, should be pretty easy. I hope it's pretty easy. I've done it on the previous gen. That was pretty easy. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. First thing you want to do is go to your driver's side door, locate the hood latch, which should be down here. Pop that guy open. If you have like low profile ramps, that would help a lot. <clears throat> I don't at the moment, so I'm gonna have to jack up the car, put it on some of those brakes over there. <clears throat> then uh, just put it on jack stands. I have to put it high enough so I can fit in there. The car is pretty low. Not that low, but it's low enough. Also, don't forget to chalk your wheels or the rear wheels. That way the car just doesn't roll back, even though the e-brake's on. Now that we got that side, gotta get the other side. Wait, where's the other Jackson? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> Let's see. Should be cool right there. All right, now we can lower the car onto the jack sands. Cool. Never been under the car, actually. Well, the front side, been in the back. Since I changed the exhaust to the HKS exhaust. Okay, and by the looks of it, looks like I have to remove this little plate here. I have three, probably 10 millimeter bolts. Um, should be. And then I should be able to see the oil drain plug. And uh, from there, we just get started on proceeding with the oil change. We just slide this over. I already loosened this one up first. Looks like we get the drain bolt right there. Cool. That looks like it could be a 14, maybe 17. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Uh, 14 kind of looks small. Let's try 17. Oh, well, let's just take the 14 just in case. Let's try 17 first. Actually, yeah, it's a 17 millimeter. Put that on here. That was easy. Ah, that's a spider. Oh, oh shit. What the? Oh, hell nah. Yo, that thing better not be stripped. Oh, okay. After, so you guys know how I like, it got tight and I'm like, oh man, I hope it's not stripped. Well, I don't know if you can kind of see in the threads. Maybe in fact, in the factory, they put some type of Loctite right here at the beginning because it's just like lumps and chunks of it. And then the rest is fine. So yeah, if yours gets stuck on <laughs> while trying to remove it, don't be don't be afraid. Just keep going. I'm just not gonna be stripped. Our number there for anybody that needs it. <laughs> Get your gasket, drain plug. Put that together like so. Cool. There's that little thread locker, probably. Might give you a little hesitation on screwing that in. Wipe that down. Probably spray with some brake cleaner, too. Uh, we're gonna leave that open that way once we put the oil see if i get any leaks or anything like that but uh next next we're gonna do the oil filter went over to the super, my local super dealership got myself the oem filter after reading some forums and whatnot so the subaru one the black filter is uh, the best one to go to so we're gonna be replacing that one right there with this one let's open it let's see if i can do it one-handed yeah sort of Um, 
looks about the same to be honest this one says subaru that one just says toyota i have to run to the uh local auto parts store just to remove this because i'm not buff enough to like take it off i tried some pliers on there if you can see the scuff marks on there it didn't work so i'm gonna have to get the cap just to remove that and then i would place the sucker on be right back back from the auto parts store got myself some oil filter pliers this should most likely oh hell yeah that's gonna get it off yep easy peasy lemon squeezy yeah cool it's loose what you want to do with the uh, new filter um it says on here to apply a film of engine oil onto gasket uh then just tighten tighten it three quarters of a turn anyways uh yeah we're gonna put the light oil film onto the gasket Done. there we go sweet don't want to do it too tight wipe it down and my hands were oily okay we do add have to add about 5.3 quarts or 5.2 quarts something, something like that uh does take the 0 20 i'm doing mobile you do any type of oil that you want to do or i should say any type of brand um it's, it's all it's all preference but uh yeah we're gonna put that in here make sure you, make sure you have a funnel too that way you don't spill any of the oil anywhere gonna pour some of that in i already poured in five quarts i just gotta do the 0.2 or 0.3 this is the last quart and then i'm gonna just have this inside the car just in case uh, the car burns oil or something like that because everyone when i first bought the car it was burning oil it's probably because of the break-in um but it doesn't burn as much oil anymore um, but yeah let's go ahead and finish this up top it off and we're just gonna close that up So I ended up blowing the car a little bit because it was really high up. And I didn't want to start the car. And next thing you know, I got rotten on coming up just because all the oil is going to the back of the back end of the motor. <laughs> let's see, let's go ahead and turn this on. letting the car run for about like five minutes or so i did check the drain plug it's not leaking the oil filter uh housing area isn't leaking either uh so that's a good sign <laughs> that means i did it right uh hopefully you did too uh put the oil in a container and dispose of it properly please do that don't just go dump it in the street or in grass or your neighbor's yard don't do that go dispose of it properly uh you can take it to many spots that will take it for free they won't charge you um if anything sometimes they might pay you i don't know depends on your area one more thing, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. All right, guys, see you next time.